Lake Kayenji. It's Nigeria's largest man-made lake. A source of life and livelihood to many. It's also the source of Nigeria's hydroelectric energy. It was formed by Kayenji Hydro Dam on the River Niger, Africa's third longest river. Kayenji Dam was built as Nigeria's first hydropower plant five decades ago. This facility alone generates around 10% of Nigeria's power and has the capacity to generate even more. But Nigeria lacks adequate infrastructure to get the energy from here into homes, offices and industries where it's needed. Nigeria's largest hydroelectric power plant is operated by Mainstream Energy Solutions, a private power generating company that currently produces 20% of Nigeria's electricity. The state-of-the-art plant has an installed capacity of 760 megawatt. Nigeria currently has the capacity to produce an estimated 7,000 megawatts of power, but due to weak infrastructure, gas supply problems and water shortages, only about 4,000 megawatts reaches the national grid. Africa's most populous country needs more than 10 times its current electricity output to guarantee supply for its booming population, nearly half of whom have no access at all. Mainstream say hydropower and renewable energy can provide a viable solution. Hydropower plants provide the stability for any country that generates power and agreed the investment in uh, hydropower plants cannot be ever emphasized. It's something that should be done and potentials are born in Nigeria. The lead time, like I said, could be a bit longer, two, three, four, five years to build a power plant, but the maintenance cost is almost next to nothing. It's cheaper for the economy, it's cleaner. So that's why in the long run there should be more investment in hydropower plants. Despite the numerous benefits of producing renewable energy, companies generating power can face expensive costs. The major problem is liquidity in the system. Um, when we took over Kanji and Jeba, we came with a lot of zeal to do capacity recovery, all right? And our shareholders started giving us money to work on the broken down machines. Then we discovered two, three months down the line that invoices are not being paid. Today we are owed billions of naira for power supply to the grid that hasn't been paid the TCN, Transmission Company of Nigeria, they are doing a lot of investment in transmission. So with improved liquidity in the system, generation companies will be able to invest more in generation, and then distribution companies will also be able to invest more in distribution. I travelled to Lagos to meet with one of Nigeria's leading private power distributors to find out how they're dealing with the challenges facing them. It's the same things that we keep talking about. It's the ability to collect the appropriate revenues for what it is that we've done. Maybe people cannot, majority cannot afford it. So let's have creative conversations around what does it take to ensure that the cost is at least covered for what it is that we're putting into this, these investments that are going in. Uh, to be able to attract the right level of even foreign investment in the sector. So if we could do a number of these things and do it right, I think guaranteed um, we would be going uh, in the right direction, I would say. Nigeria's Minister of Power has set a target of expanding electricity access to 75% of the population by 2020 and 90% by 2030. The country aims to generate 30% of its total energy from renewable sources by 2030. Analysts say the shift towards renewables is an efficient way to light up Africa's most populous country but support is needed. Yes, there's all that potential. And if we can produce energy in a way that keeps our environment safe, I think that's all the better for us. If the West wants the emissions from Africa as we're developing to go down, they're also going to have to support us to ensure that these costs are lowered and the projects can be de-risked because that's the only way we can afford to do it. We want to develop, and so we're going to try to develop any way we can and renewables might not be the fastest way. Green renewable energy may not be a quick fix to Nigeria's electricity crisis, but faced with a growing population, hydropower could help with providing the country's increasing power demands in order for it to grow.